Vegas. I, Ms. Gracie and Ms. Keita, deem it my pleasure to welcome you all to this auspicious occasion as we gather here to celebrate the Republic Day of our great nation, India. Before we commence with the festivities organized for the day, let us all join in paying tribute to the national flag, the symbol of our pride and unity. As all of us have risen, the cabinet leaders will now escort our chief guest, Ms. Angela Fonseca, along with the rest of the esteemed guests, the school management, the principals of all three sections for today's event.
very proud of our constitution. Our Republic Day reminds us about our great leader and architect, Dr. Baba Saheb Ambedkar, along with other idolous leaders who contemplated and drafted our Indian constitution. We are proud citizens of India as we are about to accomplish the dream of our visionary leaders to make India known around the globe with good economic growth and sustainable development. India stands proudly among all the countries around the world. From India in an era of British rule to India today in an era of globalization, technology and democracy. Our constitution states about our rights and duties. But as a citizen of India, are we aware? Are we exercising our rights and following the duties? It's our right to vote, but it's also our duty to enact the right to vote. After every five years, elections are held in a country where we have the freedom to vote in our democratic India. Do we take efforts to vote? Arise, awake, get on your feet, get out of the lethargic seat, don't sit idle, for it's time for you to go and vote along with your family, neighbors and the youth. There are articles in the constitution which gives us freedom, but there are also duties to be followed. Let us take some time to read our constitution and become aware of our rights and duties. Lastly, I would like to conclude with the lines of Rabindranath Tagore, where the mind is without fear and the head is held up high. Into that heaven of freedom, my father, let my country away. Jai Hind! Teri shana pe sadke Koi dhan hai kya Teri dhul se badke Teri dhup se roshan Teri hawa pe zinda Tu baag hai mera Main tera parinda Presenting to you our first leader who drafted the Indian Constitution, Dr. Ba Bhim Rao Ambedkar. Educate, agitate, organize. He very rightly said that cultivation.
liberation of mind should be the ultimate aim of human existence. Next, coming up is Mahatma Gandhi, who is also known as the father of our nation. Quit India. He quoted, be the change that you wish to see in the world. A fallen war hero who sacrificed himself for the nation, Bhagat Singh. In Kalab, Zindabad, long live the revolution. He stated that it takes a loud voice to make the deaf hear. Next, coming up is the night angle of India, Sarojini Naidu. She quoted, hark to a voice that is calling to my heart in the voice of my mind. She stated, we want deeper sincerity of motive, a greater courage in speech and earnestness in action. <laughs> Presenting next is the first Prime Minister of our country, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. A twist with destiny. He stated that long years ago we made a twist with destiny and now the time comes when we shall redeem our pledge. Coming up next is the commander of the Azad Hind Sena, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. Jai Hind! He stated, give me blood and I shall give you freedom. Presenting to you an active participant of the Indian freedom struggle, Aruna Asaf Ali. She was an active participant in the Quit India movement. She quoted, the first essential in education is a willingness to learn. कि मैं गणतंत्र दिवस पर अपनी बात रखूं। हर साल हमारे देश में 26 जनवरी गणतंत्र दिवस के रूप में मनाया जाता है। ये दिन बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण है। ये भारतीय इतिहास में भी विशेष स्थान रखता है। 26 जनवरी को राष्ट्रीय पर्व के रूप में हम बड़ी ही उत्साह और गर्व के साथ मनाते हैं। जैसे कि हमें पता है कि भारतीय संविधान 26 जनवरी 1950 को लागू किया गया था। तब से लेकर आज तक सभी भारतीय हर साल गणतंत्र दिवस मनाते हैं। हालांकि भारत को अंग्रेजों की गुलामी से 15 अगस्त 1947 को आजादी मिल गई थी, लेकिन कोई भारतीय संविधान नहीं था। काफी विचार और विमर्श के बाद डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब अंबेडकर की अध्यक्षता में एक समिति का गठन किया गया, जिसका काम भारतीय संविधान का मसौदा तैयार करना था। डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब अंबेडकर की समिति ने जो संविधान तैयार किया था, उसे संविधान सभा द्वारा 26 नवंबर 1949 को स्वीकार किया गया और इस देश में 26 जनवरी 1950 को लागू कर � आज इस शुभ अवसर पर उन योद्धाओं की वीरता पूर्ण शब्द को याद करें, जो वीरता और बलिदान के प्रतीक हैं। जैसे कि भगत सिंह जी ने कहा था, कानून की पवित्रता तभी तक कायम रखी जा सकती है, जब तक यह लोगों की इच्छा की अभिव्यक्ति है। ये शब्द आज भी घराई से गूंजती है, क्योंकि हम हमारे लोक रानी लक्ष्मी भाई की शुद्ध घोष की भावना में हर हर महादेव आज मैं अपनी झांसी नहीं दूंगी ये स्वर गूंजते हैं तो आइए हम हमारे मातृभूमि की सम्मान की रक्षा करने का संकल्प लें नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस की आवाज गूंजती है तुम मुझे खून दो और मैं तुम्हें आजादी दूंगा इस पुकार ने करोड़ों लोगों को एकजुट करके ब्रिटिश शासन के खिलाफ संघर्ष के लिए उत्तेजित किया, जिसने अपूर्व साहस और दृढ़ संकल्प को प्रस्तुत किया। इस दिन हमें प्रतिज्ञा करते हैं 
कि हम हमारे राष्ट्र को और भी मजबूत बनाएंगे और सभी नागरिकों को न्याय व सम्मान की भावना के साथ जीने का अवसर प्रदान करेंगे इस गणतंत्र दिवस पर हम साथ मिलकर ये प्रण लेते हैं कि हम हमारे देश को नई ऊंचाई तक पहुंचाएंगे और साथ मिलकर एक सशक्त भारत का निर्माण करेंगे धन्यवाद जय हिंद जय भारत
execution. Good morning students, sit down. Today, we are going to have a special class on Indian constitutional values. This, my dear students, is the soul of our nation. So, is it like a superhero role work? Well, in a way, a constitution is the superhero that guides our nation. Okay, let's start with the most easiest question. Who can tell me what is a preamble? Many students raise their hands. Papu screams out his answer before the professor can choose. So, it is something that came before the constitution as you only taught us. Please stand for... Papu, I'm talking about the preamble, not the difference between pre and post words. Preamble consists of values that a constitution has adopted for the smooth functioning of Indian society. Professor Adarsh divides the class into groups to perform skills on fundamental rights and duties to understand the constitution of India. The class leaves. They all arrive the next day as the school bell rings. They all greet the professor. Good morning, students. Sit down. Well, I hope you all are ready with your skits. Okay, then. Let's start with our first skit. Right to equality. Chintu and Papu, along with the rest of their group, are performing the skit on right to equality. मेरे प्यारे दर्शकों आज हम आपके लिए प्रस्तुत करते हैं राइट टू इक्वालिटी नाट्य इस नाट्य में चिंटू एक आम आदमी का रोल करेंगे और पप्पू एक अमीर आदमी का एक अब चाय दे यहाँ प्लीज हाँ सर जी आपको मुझे भी एक कप चाय देना शक्कर थोड़ी ज्यादा और एक बढ़िया से कप में देना ही तो है इतना क्यों खर्च करना दिखावे के लिए वेल आई कैन अफोर्ड इट पैसा बोलता है दूर ज्यादा ओ भैया पानी कम दूर ज्यादा ओ भैया पानी कम गुप्ता जी के चाय में है दम कुछ ज़्यादा ही नहीं है इतना पैसा खर्च करना नहीं नहीं मुझे तो ठीक ही लगता है and does a mysterious character the equality fairy equality is the spirit of democracy let's see how you both like a little switch suddenly the cup switch from their hands अरे मेरा चाय इस फैंसी कप में और मेरी चाय इस साधे से कप में। Now you get to experience each other's preferences. This fancy cup does makes the tea better. Yeah, this regular cup has its own charm too. Papu, the point is everybody is our equal treatment and opportunity. Papu and Chintu shake hands. मेरे प्यारे दर्शकों हमेशा याद रखना चाहिए कि right to equality हर एक नागरिक को देना हमारी जिम्मेदारी है बिना उसके जात पात धर्म और लिंग को बीच में लाए बिना. Chintu, Papu and shop people raise their tea cups.
इसे ही बोलते हैं चाय पे चर्चा द होल क्लास क्लास एंड चीयर्स फॉर देम वाओ दैट वाज अ रियली गुड रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑन राइट टू इक्वालिटी कंग्रेट्स प्रोफेसर आदर्श कंग्रेट्स and calls upon the next group to present the skill on rights to freedom now i call upon the next group of students who will be presenting a skill on right to freedom see ya standing on an imaginary soap box representing a public space hey see ya what are you doing on that box I am exercising my freedom of speech and expression. Oh ho, ye kuch mazedar hone wala hai. Professor Sen walks by, noticing Sia on the soap box. What's going on here? So, I am demonstrating the importance of speech and freedom to my classmates on the topic of casting votes. So you can just go up there and talk like that. Exactly. In a democratic society, everyone has the right to express their thoughts freely. Like I was saying, one needs to cast their votes during election. If she can express herself, so can I. See ya. I don't think my vote counts whether I go to vote or not. मेरे एक वोट से क्या ही होने वाला है फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट अलाउ एवरी पर्सन टू गिव देयर ओपिनियन एंड हैव डिस्कशन इट इज एसेंशियल टू वॉइस आर ओपिनियन फ्रीली आई गेस एक्सप्रेशन का मतलब एक्शन भी होता है हाँ हाँ कुछ भी चलेगा So, my fellow citizens, let's use our freedom of thoughts and expressions to make our voice heard and make a difference in our country. Professor Sen applauds. Tintu and Rama are still goofing around. Well done, Sia. It is very important to remember that freedom of speech comes before a uh, sorry comes with comes with great responsibilities. Thank you, sir, and thank you, Pintu and Rama, for being such a great audience. Our pleasure, Sia. We were just exercising our rights to be entertaining. The whole class claps and cheers for their performance. Well, Pacho, to aaj aapne dekha how important it is to voice our opinions. Well done. I now call upon the next group of students to present a skit. Prinku and Shama are on stage engaged in various activities representing their civic duties. Ah, oh, just doing my duty as a responsible citizen by keeping my surrounding clean. And I'm contributing to a greener environment. It is my duty. Prinku notices a piece of paper and tries to pick it up, but it keeps slipping away. तो क्यों एक जगह पे नहीं रह सकता है? कब से उड़ी रहा है? हाँ हाँ, of course, Prinku. It's exercising. It's right to freedom of movement. Prinku notices someone littering the place and steps forward. It's excuse me, sir. Stop littering the place. It is not allowed here. ओ oh, अच्छा मुझे तो पता ही नहीं था प्लीज पिकअप वो गेट थ्रोन डाउन पर मैं तो सड़क पानी और बिजली का तो पैसा भरता हूँ टैक्स के फॉर्म में तो मैं क्यों उठाऊँ इवन वी पे सो बट दैट डजेंट गिव अस द राइट टू लिटर द प्लेस इट इज अ सिविक ड्यूटी टू कीप आर सराउंडिंग क्लीन प्रिंको शमा एंड चिंटू टेक अ पाव होल्डिंग या क्लीनिंग टूल्स We may not be a contribu, uh, we may not be a uh, custodians of cleanliness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
Remember students, citizens working together can make a huge difference. The Good. whole class applauds for their friends. Remember, constitution is not just a document, it's a way of life. Uphold its values and it will contribute to the building of a strong nation. The students and the professor take a bow. Good morning to one and all present here. 
I am honored to be the chief guest of our esteemed school, Kanosa, today. We have gathered here to celebrate the 75th Republic Day of our beloved country. I feel immense pride and gratitude to be a daughter of my nation, India. This day marks and celebrates the date on which the Constitution of India came into effect on 26 January 1950, making India a sovereign state and established it as a republic. Our Constitution has given us a, a diverse nation, a true and great democracy. We belong to different castes, creeds, religions, colors, and follow different traditions and cultures, but belong to one Mother Earth, India. Today is a special day for us to come together and remember the importance of unity, diversity, brotherhood, and equality amongst us all. We need our constitution to protect our individual rights, uphold the rule of law, provide stability, promote citizen participation, and safeguard us against tyranny. So stay united always. Children, you all belong to different states, caste, creed, colors, religions, etc. But you study, play, and are growing in harmony at Canosa. In the same manner, remain united even when you are out of school. Today, we are celebrate, let us celebrate this Republic Day with a lot of pride and deep love for our wonderful nation. This freedom and pride we enjoy as citizens today is the work put in by our freedom fighters and our reformers who struggled and sacrificed their lives to bring up this glorious day for us. Mere vatan ke logo Zara aankh me bar lo paani Jo shaheed hoi hai Unki saro yaad karo kurbani Tum bhool na jao unko Is liye suno ye kahani Jo shaheed hoi hai Unki saro yaad karo kurbani Deal with me for, a for another minute or so. At Canosa, we have a small part of the future of India growing. He is also a Canosian. <laughs> so he's come to welcome all you all. At Canosa, we have a small part of the future of India growing. So girls, India beckons you to work towards a better future for yourself, your family, and your country, India. Be the change and make India proud. This day is a reminder for all of us to stay united. Though we are diverse, practice democracy and progress through effort to success as your school motto tells you to. Work towards building a happy nation, not only for you, but also for all Indians. Happy Republic Day. Jai Hind, Jai Maharashtra. Guiding us on the path of progress and reminding us of our responsibility towards our nation. We sincerely appreciate you taking the time to share your valuable insights with us. 
our chief guest for today miss angela all esteemed guests principals my dear parents teachers sisters and my dear students wishing you all a very happy republic day today as we gather to celebrate the spirit of our great nation let us reflect on the values that define us as indians our constitution a guiding light has stood the test of time fostering unity in diversity on this occasion let's honor the sacrifices of our freedom fighters and express gratitude for the rights and freedom bestowed upon us as we witness the tricolor unfurl let us serve as a reminder of our collective responsibility to up to uphold the principles of justice equality and fraternity we may we continue to strive for excellence in all our endeavors nurturing young minds to be compassionate responsible citizens together let us build a true future where the ideals of our republic shine brightly and i also take this opportunity to thank all of you especially all those who have taken trouble to put up such a wonderful <coughs> program and special thanks to miss angela for accepting our invitation so jai hind jai maharashtra thank you.